Yep, get ready, friends. We are getting ready with our Christmas wreaths. Yay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I brought my brush from home. I will share with you. You get a piece of cardstock. First step, decide what decide. Decide what design you want. I'm gonna start with marker. I suggest you little guys start with pencil. And if you mess up, I'll help you. If you mess up on one side, flip it over. All right, so you anchor your hand down and do a circle if you want a circle read. Do a half curve, flip it, do another half curve. Put your hand down like a protractor. If you want somewhat of a circle, watch again. So you kind of go around. Let me do it in marker so you guys can see really easily. All right, if you want a circle wreath, you kind of go around like this. See I'm outlining it? All right, you have it really shaggy, like a shaggy dog. All right, now if you want the heart shape wreath, I'll do it straight in marker. Hmm. I want a heart shape wreath. I'm gonna go up and down, do it really big right to the edge of the paper and up and down. Here's a heart shape. Ooh, so first step, you get the shape of your wreath. Then we're gonna paint it, then we're gonna cut it. So our five minutes starts now, and we might go a little over because this is gonna be a project, not just a warm up, but it starts with a drawing warm up. Circle, heart, what shape is your wreath gonna be? All right, now get out your paints. All right, this cup, is also going to be used for sponge painting. We're getting a little crazy today. And hmm, do you remember guys how to make army green, not just plain green? Bring it to your palette here, mix it up, clean your brush with water. What do I mix? Orange and red. Good job. Opposite on the color wheel, like Van Gogh and Monet did with your green. A little more green in your palette. Ooh, then we have a nice deep foliage color of army green. Now watch how we do the foliage, back and forth. Let me show you that up close, okay? Greens, back and forth. Remember how we do foliage? Okay, so we're gonna go across like this, the way we do palm trees and limbs, and we're gonna keep doing what's called, can you say layering? Layering, yeah, layering. We're gonna do layers so our green looks like a real wreath. It's okay if you go out of the lines if it doesn't come pretty because we're going to cut it out. All right, and I'm going to work on speed now. Really high speed. This is my circle one. I'm probably going to do two in the time you do one. And I'm going to have the watercolors out so you guys are painting right along with me as soon as you're ready. All right, you know it look cooler when I get some more orange and red in with the green? See the depth it adds? That's why Monet and Van Gogh have three shades of color. You don't just stop on one layer. Now you do another layer of a different tone. All right, so you go back and forth with little leaves to make it look realistic. Hmm, should I go darker or lighter? I'm gonna add a little orange in with my green and my palette, and I'm gonna go a little deeper for my army green, my third layer. So the whole idea is to make it look fluffy like a real wreath is to do three layers. So my third layer, I'm gonna go right out of the lines and go a little crazy, okay? One wreath. All right, second one, hmm, I have it on green. It's gonna be harder to see with pure green, so I'm gonna mix a lot more red with my wreath to make it look a little darker so I can see it on my green background. So I'm going for my darker army green with red, and I'm gonna come around the same idea. Remember, I'm doing two in the time you're doing one. So you get to decide what shape your wreath is gonna be. So I'm gonna go really fast, but I'm gonna do two and you're gonna get caught up at your own pace. Because you believe me, you're gonna wanna have a fun wreath for today's craft slash art project. And we're gonna get artsy next by adding a bow. See if you retain that knowledge. I'm on my second color. I'm gonna add a little bit of purple this time because I'm on my green bathroom for a little bit of my third layer. All right, three layers of wreaths. All right, I just did three layers, putting down my brush. I have two wreaths. What do you think comes next? It is something you would never guess. Brand new supplies, my friends. Uh -uh. Tripping them open for you. Yes, some of you have been waiting to use the stamps. Ooh, are we gonna put lightning in it? Are we gonna put snowflakes? Are we gonna put a snowman? I have all these fun wreaths. I get excited about new stuff to you. I'm gonna do a butterfly one. I love butterflies. The symbol of new life, new life in Christ, is why we celebrate Christmas at our Christian school. 
is the bird, the gray. So I'm going to put a butterfly on here as I design. Now, hmm, what color do you want to design your wreath with? Look, there's all different colors. You don't have to stick with red and white. Some people nowadays decorate with blue. This one's just brown with red berries. You could stay basic. You could go crazy with your colors, but try to make it nice. All right, so what I do is dunking in water. I'm going to mix it around in deep purple, and I'm just painting straight on my sponge, okay? Now I'm going to add, if it's not spreading on my sponge, I need to add more what? Water. All right, so dunk in your water. Ooh, we have 40 seconds left for our five minute. I told you we we're going to go start with a five minute warm up. Now we're going to go a little bit over to do this cool project. All right, so we're going to do straight down with your sponge. Press it, press it, press it. Go straight up, and there I have my butterfly. I might want to say, hmm, I might want to use a Crayola that bleeds out and outline it a little. And it'd probably be, you can add Christmas ornaments, either with Crayola or pastel. I'm gonna let you guys decide, hmm, what am I best at? And you can either try out the sponges like I just showed you, or you can do what I'm gonna do. Oh. That was our five minutes. I'm gonna show you how I'm doing Christmas balls just by going in circles. Because after you try a sponge of your choice, you might be like, hmm, Miss Smith, I'd rather marker on the balls or draw them on. So you get to decide what you're good at and probably not drip into other people's. All right, so I'm gonna do a little red Christmas balls and I'm gonna end with cutting it out with you and a red ribbon. How do I add a red ribbon? Hmm. Yes, you got it. What we did is draw it. You guys who have me for a teacher, decide if you want a ribbon. You start with the circle of the ribbon. Then we do two sides and two. Um, let's see, which one of these sides are ribbon? Here's ribbons. All right, so we start with the circle. We come out to do the tie, out to do the tie, and then we do the hanging down parts of the ribbon. And then we do parallel lines your ribbon look a little more realistic. If you're adding a ribbon, I'm gonna add a red ribbon. What color are you gonna add on yours? All right, hmm. right here's my pencil drawing of my ribbon. I'm gonna come out and in, then hang it down, out and in. So there's the beginning of my ribbon. Are you gonna add a ribbon? If so, let's do another outline. Okay, I'm gonna probably spend a little longer on this, but I'm gonna try to finish my video lesson then don't, don't say, can you help me right now? Wait for it, I'm gonna come around and help you. It's even when you're doing this video. All right, my last thing is, going a little crazy here, but I'm getting out the glitter. You guys wanna do it? All right, if we're gonna do glitter, we're gonna cut it out first. So I'm gonna use my teacher's scissors because I'll be fast. You guys are using the kid's scissors. Remember scissor safety, never hand it, yeah, open with the blade. All right, so I'm gonna go back and forth do a wiggly line. I also have the wiggly uh, line scissors. They're harder to cut with. So you hold it, keep your fingers away from the blade, cut out your wreath. I'm gonna be cutting, and you guys are all following along, working on your wreath as you're watching on this video, as you're watching this video lesson, uh, not on this video. All right, how do I make the hole in the middle? Very carefully fold it without folding it really hard. Then you go in the middle, do half a circle. Do you have ribbons go around the ribbons? I have that much done. You ready to do the other half? All right. So you go around, around your wreath shape. No. If you cut out the ribbon, don't cry. Okay. What we're gonna do is give you tape. And what I'm gonna do is work on cutting that out a little better and tape that little piece back on. Okay. So I'm trying to be really fast or you might like it like that, okay? I also have strings I'll be bringing out. All right, how to cut out the heart. I'm doing a wiggly line, going back and forth with my cutting. Now, I will give you guys, um, you little guys who say, oh, Mrs. Smith, mine didn't come as good as yours. I will actually train you, help with you, help you. After this quiet video lesson where you try, how do we get the circle in? the heart. Fold it, yep. You can say what to do. Fold it like that. So the two sides touch. Now without pressing it too hard, now go and do 
your wiggling line. Keep your fingers away from the scissors. Cut. Are you guys cutting with me yet? I know how two reads from today's lesson. Do you guys want to use glitter? Glitter? Okay. All right. So keep working on your read as you're watching this lesson. I will bring you the glitter. The thing is, glitter is very messy. If you use the glitter, if you make a mess, you have to clean it. So what I'm gonna require you to have is paper underneath you. Scrap paper right now, put it underneath you if you're working with glitter. Then you're gonna use a cup to collect the extra glitter so you don't make a mess, it doesn't get anyone's eye. If you go blah with the glitter and it flies around, you're cut off from glitter, okay? And we all have to share these glitters. It's not for one class, it's for all the classes. All right, where you're gonna open the really big Elmer's glue. You're gonna decide where your glitter is gonna go. I'm gonna do mine as Christmas lights on this one by doing little dots. So it looks like Christmas lights and I'm going diagonal, element of art, principle of design, like a zigzag pattern. Okay, for my heart one. Then for my wreath one, I'm gonna do some Christmas balls and glitter, some circles, a little thicker with glue. Okay, I'm squeezing out the bottle, going in a circular motion for balls, Christmas ornaments or balls. And now I'm gonna screw back on the cap till the white thing comes out, okay? I told you we're taking a little longer today. What color glitter should we use? Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for white. How about you? It's actually silver and sparkly. All right, there is a shaker spout. You can use the shaker spout, but if you open the whole lid like that, put the lid back on. We're on commercials on my copyright free Christmas music background. All right, this is brand new, so I think it's sealed. I'm gonna unseal it for you guys in class. I think we might have to stick a knife in there and get violent to cool. open it. We're gonna do that off camera. All right, so I'm gonna do what I told you not to do, but I'm gonna put paper underneath me, pour it right on, carefully, right onto where I have the glue spots. I'm not gonna pour it out all over your whole thing. I'm targeting where I have the glue spots, okay? So now that I have it on the glue spots, I'm going to get it in my paper, shake it around a little, and I'm going to use a cup to collect the extra glitter for someone else to share. Sharing is caring. <gasps> I have one done. All right, last one, then the end with the video, then you'll be able to talk to your friends, collaborate. I'm going to target, not just spinning it all over. I'm targeting where the glue is. And if you want to use the glitter, you have to be quiet and watching this so you don't just get your glitter everywhere. Remember, I have paper underneath me. I have the glitter there. And now I'm gonna shake it around a little bit, hold it up like a pizzeria, <laughs> and I'm gonna tip it in a U shape, get it carefully with two hands and shake the extra glitter in the cup for the next person. All right, I have two Christmas wreaths. Can't wait to see yours. Let's see how much these are if we would buy one in a store. You guys wanna check it out? Hmm, if I was gonna buy this one, from Amazon, ooh, that's in stock. Let's see how much is a, a wreath, because you guys are hopefully gonna get a beautiful wreath that you'll bless your family. And I'm gonna spend a little more time with a black Sharpie outlining my ornaments, teaching you guys to outline your bows, to make them look beautiful. So when you bring them home, hopefully it's something your whole family would like. Ooh, $23.99 for that one, in stock. All right, can't wait to see your Christmas wreaths over and out from today's lesson, my friend. Woohoo! So that was not only your warm-up, but your craft. <laughs>